Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in 1,000 slots in the Collection Log. Let's get right into it and get ourselves some unique items and maybe even a couple valuable items. I don't know, you just have to wait and see. I hope you all enjoy. So there is a certain section in the Collection Log that we have not looked at in a very long time. The Barrow's Chest section. We are missing only three items, the Carol's Coif, the Aram's Rope Skirt, and the Torax Plate Legs, and I have not touched Barrow's in quite a long time, so I've mustered together what I believe to be probably the best setup I can do for Barrow's. I will uh, declaw spec out Carol, I'll use the blowpipe on Aram, and I will also use the blowpipe for everything in the tunnels. It's going to be pretty sweaty. I want to see how many Barrow's Chests I could do per hour, because by my estimations, on average, I should have to do approximately 125 five barrows chests to receive one of these three items and I would love to fill the entire Barrows log by the end of this series, but I don't know if I could bring myself to grind out Barrows. It gets a little tedious. Barrows also has a really good elite clue drop rate, so there's more master clues. Okay, well the first uh, run took me about three and a half minutes and of course we get an elite clue on our first run, so it looks like I'm stopping my hour timer and we're gonna go turn this into Watson. Okay. Okay, hold up. Another elite clue. I gotta pause my timer again. We're barely over half an hour into this Barrow's grind. We've gotten two elite clues. I mean, you've gotta be kidding me. This Every time I come to Barrow's, it's just raining elite clues. Okay, you've gotta be kidding me. Seriously, less than an hour. We have been at, we've been at Barrow's for less than an hour. I, I can't fake this. I could not make this up. We've gotten a third elite clue. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on screen the loot tracker. Three elite clues in 49 minutes at Barrow's. I, <laughs> like, I'm really happy because now we're doing Master Clues instead of the Elites, and I hate doing Elites. I enjoy doing Master Clues, but this is... I, I, I don't even know. Well, our timer is only at 58 minutes and 50 seconds, but I think it's fair to consider this the last Barrow's Chest since I don't think we can do an extra run in one minute. That would be quite impressive. Maybe someone can do it one day when we get uh, the most insane Mage Gear in the game. But here's our last chest of our hour. Nothing, unfortunately. You know, we managed to get three Elite Clue Scrolls, but no items. We did 18 chests in that hour. Very comfortably, I might add. I thought I was going to have to sweat and try hard, but not really. 18 chests an hour is achievable with this kind of best-in-slot gear and this setup. So, actually... I am very impressed with this. That means that I could do well over 100 chests per day without devoting my entire day to Barrows. Now, of course, this does not include the time it took me to do the Master Clues. That is entirely separate. This is just clearing the brothers, getting the chests. So, 18 per hour is not bad. And we made 1.4 mil, not counting costs. Uh, oh, oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I think that's an Iron Man's wet dream right there. And the Aram's robe skirt is an item that I needed. So, uh, that's my wet dream too. Wow. I am going to have a good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to lay down in bed. I'm going to think about that Barrow's drop we just got. And I'm going to sleep like a baby. You know what? No, I'm not going to sleep like a baby. Babies sleep terrible. Take it from me. I have a kid. I know how they sleep. I'm going to sleep like an elderly man on sleeping medications. That's what I'm going to sleep like. And another item at 1459, Derox Great Axe. I know for a fact that I have a ton of Derox Great Axes, but I promise not to keep looking at the log like I did that one time. We're going to wait till we're done grinding Barrows to check out the log again. But yeah, unfortunate. It's, it's worth a good amount of money, though, at least. Okay. All right. That's... <laughs> I remember why I quit doing Barrows, you guys. <laughs> It's because I can't get stop getting the Derex Great X. Alright, we're looking. I said I wasn't going to do it. I'm looking. I, I think we have nine. I think that's nine Derex. Okay, eight. I'm sorry. I'm over-exaggerating. <laughs> but still, eight Derex Great Xs is enough to make any man lose his sanity. Another elite clue. You love to see it, folks. Another elite clue. We are always getting more elites than items here. I, I can't explain it, folks. The elite is like more than twice as rare as an item, yet it seems to be drawn to me like some sort of sadistic paper magnet. And here we go. Chest number fit. Wow. <laughs> 1,500 Barrow's chest. 
And we get a Carol's leather skirt, unfortunately, is a duplicate. We're only missing two items now, which is fantastic. I already showed the log, but we'll take a quick peek at it again. I fully expect to come back to Barrows at some point in the near future, but I only want to do it in small increments because this gets very tedious very fast, as there is literally no variety in Barrows. It's like the same thing over and over until you get an item. And there's so many items, the chance for duplicates is so high, it's easy to get demotivated. So I'm going to take my 400 elite clues and say thank you. I've been spending a good amount of time slaying those beautiful mithril dragons, and we've acquired 10 more chewed bones to use up at the pyre site. So I figure let's go ahead and use them, see if we can get lucky and snag that dragon full hum. Honestly, this would probably be the best item we've gotten besides the third age druidic, and it would be pretty hard to top that because this is such an iconic, incredible item from old school history. Oh my, what is that? A super strength mix one dose. I, it, I, they were so nice, they gave me a whole dose. Thank you. Oh hey, we got one of the best drops, Renar Potions Unfinished. That's actually a decent one. What is that, like 22k? Not too bad. Okay, here we go. I offer my final chewed bone to you, Barbarian Spirits. Please, I ask for your blessings in these trying times. Unfortunately, we did not get the full helm, but as you can see, we did get the absolute Mithril Dragon Slaying Kit. We got our anti-fires, our super attack, super strength, some prayer potions. I mean, we are ready to go. Now let's price check all this loot, uh, take out the tinderbox, and we made 40,000 gold from 10 chewed bones. An average value of 4,000. They, they only take me like an hour to get. That's uh, 4k per hour. We make a bank. I think it's finally time we come back to this abusive relationship that is Konar Komaten. She's terrible to me. You guys know I've opened this dang brimstone chest 270 times. I opened it 100 before the tracker came out. And we've not gotten any of the items from it, so it's pretty sad. But I think maybe this time things will work out. Let's see. What's your first task? Hydras. I honestly don't know what I expected. I was going to say something about maybe every Hydra task I'll only kill a certain amount of the alchemical Hydra because these tasks take forever, but I still need loot from Hydra, so I guess we'll just bunker down and do it. Look at this beautiful milestone we have now hit at Hydra. 2,000 and one kill count because I, I, I didn't notice we got 2,000, but yeah, we've killed this boss 2,000 times. That is that is a lot of times to kill a boss, and uh, especially this one. I think once we get to 2,500, that'll be about 100 hours of Hydra I've done in my life. I never wanted to do 100 hours of Hydra in my life, but here we are. That's where I'm at in life. Why, oh why am I back here at the Lizardman Shamans? It is seriously a terrible relationship. But we got another Dragon Med Helm. It's not the Warhammer, but we're one Dragon piece closer to getting that Warhammer. Uh, at least I feel like we are. Oh yeah, you know what time it is. It's time for another long bone. Best time of the day, I gotta tell you. You know, these UC's looking pretty normal, but then when you stack two of them up, hmm, I'm not so sure about that, Jagex. All right, another trip at Shaman's done in just about an hour. Let's check the loot. Take that out. Look at that, 930K? Wow, that means if you did this for like a thousand hours, you could get yourself a Tebow. That sounds fun. 1,000 hours of Lizardman Shaman. Mr. No Sleep, you gonna make that video next? Hey, would you look at that? A Hydra's Eye. And my microphone came unplugged right before this clip started, so we gotta hurry up and get over here and start the kill. But yeah, Hydra's Eye on 2014 kill count. I mean, we are pretty behind on our ring pieces, I think, so I'm sure we could expect to get a lot of these in the near future. Maybe, maybe not. But honestly, any unique at Hydra makes me happy because uh, this boss can get quite dreadful, as you guys know. You know, you gotta do a lot of them every task, and uh, it's not the fastest boss. Uh, I told you guys we could expect to get more ring pieces soon. There's a... Uh, Hydra's Fang, 2023 kill count. Wow, that eye was literally just, it was it was not that long ago. 2014 to 2023. It sounds like I'm talking about years, but yeah, there's two-thirds of a brimstone ring in uh, one trip. Can't say I'm complaining about this trip at all. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. 45 onyx bolts. Take that drop all day long. Thank you very much. Oh, thank goodness. It's finally over. My goodness, I, I can't stand these Hydra tasks, dude. I, I've been gone from Hydra for so long, I come back and I'm just like, okay, this is dreadful. I can't handle it anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. I, hopefully we don't get any more Hydra tasks for a little while. We did get a hard clue scroll on the last kill, so that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it's like the most common task from Konar, and that was miserable. Back to back into my favorite task in the game. Thank you, Konar. You're really convincing me to stick around. Definitely don't want to leave you. You got tasks like Hydras and Worms. <laughs>
So, as you guys know, worms aren't the most enjoyable task, but at least with Konar, you get a decent amount of brimstone keys from doing these tasks, so really, Konar, you can keep giving them to me. I ain't gonna complain anymore, girl, but worms are pretty good. I think I've decided to throw hellhounds on the block list for our empty slot for now. Of course, I'll put worms on there whenever we get the dragon throne axes, but God knows when or if that will ever happen. So let's just block hellhounds for now and get a good task. Lizardman and lizardman. Is that... Is that where I can kill? Oh, that's the canyon. Oh, I hate killing lizard men in the canyon, but it's lizard men shamans. I guess I should do it. And there is our lizard man task in the canyon done. Honestly, wasn't even that bad. I swear I remember this being way more annoying because these uh, little spawns have a bigger exploding radius. As you can see, you got to be two tiles away to avoid damage, which is pretty annoying. But honestly, I could deal with it. If Konar keeps giving me these tasks, I won't complain. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Somebody save me, please. 137 Hydras. Oh, God. Like, that's 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 like seven hours of Hydra. At seven hours straight of T-bowing this thickums with five heads. Oh, boy. Another quick little clue scroll. Money-making pro tip. If you're doing medium clues, you will often get steps that bring you to Crandor. On the way there, pick up the red spider eggs. It'll maybe cost you like one extra game tick, which is 0.6 seconds, and you make 900 gold. Do that a lot over time. We'll do medium clues, and you'll increase your profit. Boom. So it seems like you guys have been loving the medium clue openings, and I've been really enjoying opening medium clues. So we're going to open some more medium clues. I actually figured last week was so great. I'm going to do even more medium clues this week, and I know what you're thinking. Okay, he's doing the joke again. It's going to be 102 this time instead of 101. Ha ha. I, I would not use the same joke twice in a row, you guys. I am a much better comedian than that. So I ended up doing 103 medium clues, and we're going to open them up. They're going to be fantastic. Here is the log for those who don't know. We have acquired many boots. Only one of the good boots, but many boots. That's okay. I really don't mind. Uh, you can see the items we're missing. I'm going to open my handy dandy notebook. And if we get any of these items, I'm going to be very happy. We're pretty close to finishing the entire log besides elegant. Actually, we're only missing three non-elegant items and then five elegant items. So looking pretty good. Let's get started. 103 medium clues to open up. Let me get that chat box open so you guys can see the big money we're getting out of these clues. An Addy H plate body, but we've got a full collection of those. Now, the other great thing about medium clues is that they have a really good chance to get master clues. Pink elegant blouse we unfortunately already have, but that's okay. We will see many elegant dupes in our time opening the rest of these medium clues. Do not worry about that. I will not fret. I'm not going to get upset. Didn't mean to rhyme that, but it worked out just nice. Oh, another Ceridoman Miter. I think that was the last god item that I needed. So now we're ready to get dupes of the items that took me forever to get. Oh, a pink headband. We need the black headband. Come on, I need to work out. You know, I gotta say, there is one thing that I miss about beginner clues, and it's the fact that you could just spam open them so quickly. I want to do that so badly with mediums, but I don't want to miss the master clues. I'm still trying to save up 25 master clues to open all at once for you guys because it sounds like a lot of fun. I'll give you a little update on that while we're here. We've got 9 out of 25 so far. Barrows really gave us a lot of master clues, and I was kind of banking on these mediums to give us a lot as well, but we haven't gotten a single one. Oh, oh, there we go. I was about to check my bank for a master clue. I was getting a little worried there. Woo, that is 10 master clues. We're getting closer and closer to our goal, and we have 64 medium clues to open. And oh no, another non-black headband and another master clue. I expect that we're going to get a lot of those. I got a feeling. Okay, well, it's the next day. I couldn't actually finish opening all these in one day. These master clues do take a while, folks. Trust me, another headband. That is not the black headband. A little depressing. Wow, a three unique medium clue. That is beautiful. And a purple elegant skirt. That is an item we need. Absolutely fantastic. That finishes out the purple elegant set for us, which is awesome. So we only need four more elegant items. I am so happy. Of course, we got to try it on. Let's see how it looks. Uh, You know... Pretty good. Kind of matches the blowpipe. You know, that's some fashion scape right there. And next clue, 1,500 medium clues. I can't believe we got so lucky on our 1,500th. Probably the best medium clue I've ever seen in my life. But nevertheless, we got to keep going. We got our one unique out of the 100 mediums. That's all I expect from 100 mediums nowadays. It's just, just one unique is pretty nice. Maybe a pair of boots so that I have something to whine about a little bit. But really, I do love opening medium clue scrolls. Even though the value of most of the uniques is not that great, it is extremely satisfying when you get another three unique clue and another non-black headband. It is truly one of the most painful things in the world. But really... I love medium clues. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing.
Ooh, another masterful clue scroll. Thank you very much. Another master clue scroll easily cleared. It was actually a great one. I had three follow the bard steps in a row. Oh, it's literally the best feeling in the entire world. I can't even describe it. And we get purple elegant legs. Unfortunately, we are already done with the purple elegant set as we found out earlier, but that's okay. There's probably something else quite juicy in these clues. Yes! Oh man, look at those. <gasps> Baby, 37 million gold. Honestly, I know a lot of you guys will comment, but you have, you got third age druidic. Why would you get excited about ranger boots? It's like, dude, how do you not get excited about 37 million GP? I don't know how. I, if, if you're that rich that you don't get excited about 38, 37 mil, I, I don't know. I want to be you. That sounds fantastic. But yeah, look at these bad boys. Oh my goodness. Put them on. Put them on. Oh, they look so good. I'm so happy. Honestly, literally just throw the rest of these clues in the trash. I won't even complain. They're, they could be the trashiest clues of all time. I'm so happy. We got a unique. We got ranger boots. Literally the best day of my life. Except... <laughs> What? No. <laughs> all right, all right. I really need to like. I don't know. I I don't know. I need to stop. This is. <laughs> Ooh, this is not okay. I did not make a deal with the devil. I promise you guys. I did not sell my soul. It's still intact. It's right here in my body. Uh. <laughs> okay, maybe I maybe I did sell it, but shh, don't tell anyone. Alright, 10 more medium caskets to go. Let's spam open them. I know I can mess out on the master or whatever, but let's spam open the clues. Literally my favorite thing in the world to do. And we unfortunately got a blue headband. I swear one day we're going to get the black headband. But yeah, there is loot from 100 medium clue scrolls. A Guthix cloak, that's worth a decent little chunk of change. Pick up all my loot off the ground. You can't let any of this beautiful loot go to waste, my friends. And let's take a peek at the medium collection log. I think... I am officially very happy. Our boot luck has done a complete 180 from getting only non-ranger boots to basically getting exclusively ranger boots at this point. So I'm happy. We're only six unique items away from finish. Si Wait a minute. Did we get another item that we needed? Because I didn't know. Wow, the Adamant Plate Skirt G was a new item. I didn't even notice that we'd gotten that. So we got two uniques from this opening. And two ranger boots. I mean, seriously, this this is incredible. Uh, so all we need is four pieces of elegant, the black headband, and the green dehyde body trim. So uh, normally I like to switch it up between tiers of clue scrolls, but at this point we're so close to finishing mediums, I almost want to just do exclusively medium clue scrolls. I don't know. Let me know. Are you guys still enjoying the medium clues? I, how could you not have enjoyed that opening, right? I mean, seriously, how much money did we make in just the ranger boots let's do a little quick little price check ah just 74 million gold nothing too major well anyways i'm gonna go do a little bit of yoga because my heart rate is so high i might need to be hospitalized so there's something that i wanted to talk about real quick there was a poll recently that had some very interesting proposals in them in regards to prithinus uh specifically the crystal chest there was a poll to make crystal shards tradable which would have made it very easy for me to acquire all of the Dragonstone armor pieces so long as I'm okay with blowing my entire cash stack on them. Now, this did not pass the poll. It reached about 60%, and uh, it's probably for the better that it didn't pass the poll, honestly, because Crystal Shards are kind of cool in that you have to get them yourself. But something else did pass the poll, which effectively makes Crystal Shards viable, but doesn't ruin the Crystal Shard economy. Should we let players trade Crystal Tool Seeds, Weapon Seeds, Armor Seeds, and Enhanced Teleport Seeds for Crystal Crystal shards at an NPC. So if I buy a crystal tool seed off the Grand Exchange, I could trade it in for 100 crystal shards, which is 10 openings of the chest. So whenever this update gets put into effect, I will effectively be able to purchase crystal shards and open the enhanced crystal chest in Prithinus as much as I would like. So those Dragonstone armor pieces are now realistically on the table for things that I can acquire. And it's a good thing that I have this decent chunk of cash in my bank because I will probably blow hundreds of millions of it going for the stupid items. But I'm going to do it because that's what we do for the almighty pixelated coloring book. Would you look at that? The Ranger Boots actually sold for more than they said in the G value, actually for 74.7 mil for the lot of them. That is fantastic. I honestly cannot believe that clue opening. Maybe the 25 Master clue opening will be even better, but I highly doubt it.
you know what, let's end things off with a bang this week. I've got a little bundle of fantastic RNG goodies that we could maybe get something good from. Five brimstone keys and four hard caskets. I'd planned on getting so many more brimstone keys this week, but when you only get Hydra tasks, you don't get a lot of brimstone keys. So let's unlock this chest. We have five chances to get a piece of Dusk Mystic or the Broken Dragon Hosta. Pretty please? No. We do not get that, but that's all right. You know, we got back-to-back -back iron ore. It is what it is. And four hard caskets, a beautiful gold rune kite shield, some garbage, some garbage, and some more garbage. But I guess we can go check if the uh, rune kite shield G is new. I don't think it is, but maybe. It unfortunately was not. Anyways, that is where I'm going to be ending things off this week. If you guys want to support the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Check out my Twitch and my Twitter links are in the description. And of course, we got to check the beautiful bank value. It is sitting at just under 4 bill. Now, that is not completely accurate. I have about a quarter billion GP in the Grand Exchange right now buying some items that I don't want to disclose to you guys right now. You'll find out what those are in the near future. Feel free to speculate in the comments down below. It's not Eyes of Newt, unfortunately, although our Eye of new stack is looking beautiful at nearly 133 million we've got over half a billion gold in eyes of news that's not something i ever thought i'd say so anyways i appreciate you guys so much thank you all for your support as always and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>